Both towers are on fire, literally on fire. And the church is sitting there as peaceful and as lovely and as humble and as sweetly as it had sat there since 1960. And the contrast of hatred and love, I'm not sure I've ever seen it in a photograph as starkly contrasted. I took the picture of the church with the towers and I remember putting my camera down and thinking, where should I go, what should I do? And all of a sudden I heard a sound, a rumble, just this. And it was weird because again, instantly knew what it was. When the South Tower fell, it destroyed the church. I mean, it was literally just flattened completely. I mean, it was obliterated. I parked my car four blocks away, walking there, and I was going to see my church stand up, and I see the church. There was all the debris that was on top of it. I kneeled down, I started crying. We found a few things afterwards. It was pathetically sad to find them, but we were very grateful. The church is suing the Port Authority for one preeminent reason, and that is simply to get the church rebuilt at the World Trade Center site on a parcel of land that is suitable for a church. The Port Authority worked cooperatively with the church from 9-11 right up until the spring of 2009. They actually had reached an agreement to rebuild the church at the World Trade Center site, and they were working out. Um, some last details when the Port Authority walked away from the deal very abruptly in March of 2009. After the Port Authority walked away from the deal with the church, it sent its bulldozers onto the church's land at 155 Cedar Street and the land promised at 130 Liberty Street and put a fence around it and started digging. That the finding of the ship is a sign from St. Nicholas. I want my church back. <laughs> kind of significant that they found it where St. Nicholas should be. The patron saint of sailors and those who sail at sea. We lost a lot of friends in 9-11. And uh, I guess the church is a friend too. The most important thing that you could see on the second floor, looking outside, from the windows of Tower 2, you used to see the little Greek church. And that did it. That, you know, that used to be a famous little church for all the tourists from around the world. We recommit ourselves to the holy task of participating wholeheartedly to rebuilding not only what was lost, but to build a new world and a new church that will become a beacon of faith, hope, love, and peace. Hopefully someday we'll build. When? I don't know. Hopefully before we die. Hopefully before we close our eyes. Many parishioners, that's all they say. We hope and see St. Nicholas built before we close our eyes. <laughs>